Let's hit a couple movers here on the platform. First, American Express. This was a uh, quite the quarter pre-market from American Express. Card member spending up 30%. I mean, huge, huge quarter for this company. Now, I, I caught up with uh, American Express CEO Stephen Squarey uh, on the phone ahead of the show. He told me, he's like, I'm not seeing anything in my numbers to suggest a recession is coming, anything is imminent, uh, which is a complete different tone compared to what we heard from the folks at AT&T yesterday saying that consumers are delaying their bills. I, a 30 and, and I get where Square is coming from, and there's this comment to us uh, earlier this morning. I get where he's coming from. When your card member spending is up 30% in a quarter, uh, that is really good. <laughs> That's just a really good quarter. The environment of revenge spending as well. And I think the shift that we need to monitor among consumers is how they're using their cards to kind of spend among travel, among entertainment as well. And some of the purchases that they may be making where they are less comfortable saying, I'll pay for it right now. And saying instead, I'm gonna pay for this over time and just kind of push off those payments. If that becomes more of a kind of day in, day out type of purchase that they use that card for, that's where I think it starts to show up in the consumer confidence where we've already kind of seen it show up already. But for where they're using their cards and how often they're using their cards and deciding that similar to the BNPL type of stature that a lot of people had taken on over the course of the pandemic, saying, I'll just pay for this later. I think that's where we get into a little bit more of a headwind risk among consumers and where they're actually seeing the tightening of their own budgets also matriculate into how they're using their cards and the frequency with it. Do we know what their, how many, what percentage of their customers roll their balance every month? Mm. Uh, and whether that's going, that. and whether it's going down or up? I but mean, they must, they must release say, those he, numbers, But he right? did say that he's not seeing a pickup in delinquencies or people taking more right. it's not the, bills. It's not the same as delinquencies yeah. though, yeah. right? I mean, you can, you can let it ride mm -hmm. if you have a credit card for quite a long time, if you pay off the minimum balance or even, you know, even more than that, if you're not paying off the entire balance. So I'm just wondering if the percentage of the credit card bill paying, being paid off every month is rising, falling, staying the same, what's happening with that? I mean, these numbers just... They raise their outlook. These so. numbers just don't make sense no, to me. No, I, I told Steve, I see them, I'm like, you had our whole newsroom buzzing because this was a quarter that was... It's just wow, and immediately now you think we might get some good quarters over the next two weeks from the hotel players. If travel and if team were that good, maybe the hotel players had a pretty good quarter. Maybe some of their higher end restaurants. Well, having a okay. good quarter, fine, but continuing to have—that's right. what's confusing well, to he, me. He's betting like, on it. I mean, like, he's out here raising his I guidance mean, by almost five been, points. We've been talking about what's happening at airports. We've been talking about what's happening at restaurants. People mm -hmm. are out there right now. Right. The concern is that that's going to roll over as the economy rolls over and as people start, the, the trips that people are taking for now, they've already paid for, mm -hmm. right? Or they've already planned them. Right. They're just now taking them. So you would think that there would then be, if inflation is ke continues to go up at the same pace now, mm -hmm. if there's all of this chatter out here and it's hitting consumer confidence about a potential recession now, then that would affect things three to six months from now. So the fact that American Express is out here raising its forecast for the full year, and presumably that's not just because they beat this past quarter, that's interesting and confusing. And that is confusing. right. And as always, you're on the mark, Julie, because he did say future bookings were strong, right. which was quite telling. That's and that's why saying. they raise their outlook by almost five points. And similarly to that, because we see higher fares across the airlines right now, that demand is going to remain strong. And the number of partners that a company like American Express has with regards to their rewards programs, people are going to continue to swipe the card or book the travel in advance using the card, knowing that they're going to get the rewards later on, cash in on the points. So in a type of pullback or at least a more conscious spending environment as well, that's where consumers typically lean into any type of rewards that they're gonna be able to take as well over an extended period of time. And that's where American Express perhaps could be pricing in and, that, that and, demand. And I'll give, so I just wanna give him a quick, one more shout out, Square shout out. He told us at our All Market Summit last year, he's like, Brian, I'm not getting into crypto. I'm not doing it yet. And mm. he's been proven correct. <laughs> yeah. I, gotta, I gotta give Stephen a shout out because he, he nailed it there. And I told him that too. Yeah, I mean, he certainly wasn't alone. Yeah, most yeah, most yeah. corporations yeah. in the U.S. did not get into crypto. But you saw the other card players a, start to dabble. Very, the card players start to, start to eh, dabble in it. It's a, oh, in terms of, like, yes. having a platform yes, for it? Yes, yes. But He's having like, the platform, what's, I'm I mean... I'm actually touching it. There, but there's not much downside in having a platform. It's one thing... 
I don't know. Gotta, anyway, yeah. the other thing I was going to say um, is that Amex obviously is the higher end consumer as well, yes, right? Yeah. Still, is that isn't yes. that how their demographic skews? So maybe that also will tell us what. Uh, yeah, he actually, what's man, going. you must listen to our call because he yeah. actually said we don't have the same customers as AT and T. So right. <laughs> that's what he told me. So yeah. Yes, because we heard the from AT and T that yeah. they were seeing some lateness, which we're going to get to in just a moment.